What's up, what's up everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force, and this is my jam. Enter the Gungeon finally hit Switch this past Friday, and it is so good. So, so, so stinking good. If you have not played Enter the Gungeon on PC or any other platform, or even if you have, it is the perfect game for Switch. It is a twin stick shooter roguelike, unlike any other, but kind of like every other, but at the same time, it has its own special sauce, and you fight bullets with bullets. I don't think I can do it justice, so let's let the game show you why it's freaking fantastic. It's $15, and it is worth every pretty penny. You get to pick a starting loadout here, but then things get insane once you enter the gungeon. So we're gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with this guy, the Marine here. Um, I'm playing with a pro controller, docked, and I have played uh, what do you call it? Handheld, and it works great handheld. I find the controls to be uh, a little a little weird at first, but once you get the hang of them, they're pretty darn cool. Basically, you're just aiming, shooting, and rolling. It's kind of what you got going on here. And you're going to progress as many levels through the gungeon as you can. There are crazy bosses, there are crazy weapons, there is crazy loot, there are crazy rooms, and the game is crazy fun. It's 15 bucks. I think that uh, we have intentionally saved our, uh, some of our, our Switch list till the end of the year because we know that the Switch has so many cool games coming out towards the very end. Um, this is our map, by the way. Um, we've got different guns going on here, but currently I have one. And you just fire away like a crazy person, but anyhow. Um, we've got Brawl Out on the 19th. We've got Enter the Gungeon that came out, uh, recently on the 14th. And there's just, there's Tiny Metal on the 21st. There's too much good stuff towards the end of the year. Uh, that we, we were like, we gotta wait and see how these games pan out. Because SteamWorld Dig 2 ended up being one of my favorite Switch games of the year. And there's still more coming at you. Gungeon is so darn good. Alright. Can we open this box? Yes, we can. And we pick up a utility belt. All capacity up. Let's see what that does here. Go in your little, uh, little, uh, little dictionary of goodness. And you're like, yo. I already have my default loadout. Which gives me an ammo drop. Um, and better reload speeds and weapon accuracy, but now I just got an additional item and more ammunition, so that's pretty darn cool. Um, again, once you get the interface, it's pretty nice. You can teleport between these different rooms, which is cool. Um, and, I mean, I don't really, I feel like the game is pretty self-explanatory. You're fighting bullets with bullets, and the coolest part is eventually the crazy guns you get, and just how fast you can progress, how far you can progress. Um, I actually got pretty darn good at the game, um, back when it initially released. Um, you can create cover for yourself, oh golly goodness. Uh, you can use that there, which is a blank. That's going to destroy all bullets on screen and kind of clear the way for you. Um, I'm actually going to change the options because um, I currently have it set so that um, blank is clicking the two sticks at the same time. But I also have it just one stick, and I want to um, I want to get rid of that. Can I get rid of that? Um, no, not A. Not A, um... Okay, let's let me, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reset to defaults and maybe that'll make things better. Okay, now what do they have blank at? Nothing, okay, good. That's what I want, because now blank is clicking both sticks in, um, which is what we want to do. Good deal. All right, so you're picking up money as well in the form of like, uh, little gold bullety looking things. Um, this roll is incredibly important, and you're going to need to use that a lot. There is a nice little tutorial. Obviously, I didn't go through it. Um, I've played a couple of rounds uh, thus far, like I said, on the plane. Um, it is the perfect portable Switch game in every freaking way. This it, It's so addictive. Like I really liked Goner earlier this year on the Switch um, because it was a really nice uh, roguelike, and there, you know, that kind of stuff is really ideal for portable play um, because of the fact that it... You know, it, it's, it's, in theory, quick runs, um, but also depth. And Enter the Gungeon is like the epitome of that. This is a boss room. We're not going to mess with it. We are just going to make ourselves... I lost my helmet, by the way, as you can see. he got to find his helmet. If he doesn't find his helmet, I don't think he'll ever be the same. Um, great cover. But yeah, like, it, I think, like, okay, Pro Control, I'm not going to lie, controls better. But it controls plenty fine portably. Um, that you are going to be able to take this game wherever you want. And this was the Switch game, the Switch indie that I was waiting for all year. Because I love this game so much, but I just, I don't... 
I, I haven't been gaming a lot except on the Switch because of the fact that you can bring it with you everywhere and it's just so convenient. So I really wanted this on Switch. I'm really pumped to get, um, you know, quite a few games on Switch, like I said. Um, but this was one that I was like, okay, of all ports, this is the port I want. The roll can get you through um, bullets, which is nice. There's a shop up here. I've only got 32 uh, ammo casings, but we can buy... Ooh, almost can buy that. We can buy keys that open chests. We can buy ammo. There's also this magic weird sludge creature, uh, and his purpose is you can drop guns in and he'll give you new guns, but I don't have any other guns to, to drop in. I would love to get the Mega Dowser, but alas. Um, let's use the teleportation so you can just see. Another thing that's great about Enter the Gungeon, not only just in general, but specifically for Switch, is everything's so quick. Quick reloads, uh, no, no load times, everything is incredibly fast. The only legible text is offering, the rest is blank. Okay, I don't have anything to offer you, I'm sorry. Um, but everything is just so fast. You can get into a new run so fast, uh, you move through the world so fast, you get through the room so fast, you teleport around so fast. It's just, again, it epitomizes what makes an indie great on Switch. And I think it's a must-have. I think this is one of the system's must-have games. No matter who you are, no matter what you're, where you're from, as long as you love good games, as long as you love videos that you play, this is for you. Good thing I did not buy that key, because I just picked up a key, and that would have been sad. Um, so we can open this, and in it I get some moolah and a new gun. Now this is the snowballer, snowballer may contain rocks. Again, one of the coolest parts of this game is the special guns. You can get crazy laser cannons, weird ones. I don't even know what this gun does yet, um, but we're about to find out. Oh my god, it actually fires snowballs. <laughs> oh my goodness, perfect Christmas spirit gun, right? As this guy looks in the fireplace, I wish I could- oh! Oh my god, we put out the fire. And I'm in the fireplace. Anything in here? Hello? Oh, yeah, wait. It kind of looked like for a second I was gonna... Wait. I don't know, okay. That was crazy for a split second. Um... Do I want to buy another gun from him? Alright, let's explore around first and then we'll see. Maybe we need health, maybe we need another key. We'll just have to figure it out. But let's go to this room here. Um, again, this gun is amazing. And it it is- oh, it freezes guys too! And I can switch back to my other gun and damage him while he's frozen. That is awesome! Break it down, break it down. I love it. Okay, and the map has now been cleared out. You can see there's no more hidden areas, no more hidden rooms. So, um, we can spend our money at 56. Some ammo. Um, I still have 452 shots in that, so I don't think so. I can get keys. I can get the Mega Dowser. I'm gonna save my money, actually. Uh, just because we're in the first world. We'll use it on the second world in case there's some better stuff. And we get to go to a boss. Let's duke it out with. With. Oh, it's the Bullet Twins. Yeah. The Trigger Twins. All right. I love these little scenes. Remind me of Borderlands a lot. Um, okay, so I can use my better weapon, which I probably will do. Um, these guys are not the toughest boss. I don't think I can freeze them considering that they are boss characters. But I can definitely punish them and deal damage. Oh, we can freeze them. Nice. Takes a little bit of more oomph to freeze these guys, but we can get- Oh, alright, lost half a heart. Alright, they're bringing in some babies into the fray, and, and we are making them blue. da ba dee da ba die but I'm not freezing them, I just want them to die. Alright, these little guys. Okay, they are getting real trigger happy, as you can see. I'm gonna roll out the way and try to survive today. I think we got this. I always say, better roll than sorry, so I, I aggressively roll even if I don't necessarily need to. Wow, okay. There's some good dodging there. Oh, okay, they're getting real, real crazy here at the end. Okay, this guy's about to go down. The snowballer, I'm spending so much ammo on him. Probably shouldn't do that, considering the fact that, like, they, they don't get frozen. So, okay, now, now that we took out his brother, his friend, uh, he is really not having it. He's really angry. You can hold the trigger on this one, which is nice, but then you have to tap to reload. You, there's a separate reload button, or you can just, uh... You can just click shoot again, and it'll do it. Every boss gets you some of this amazing cryptocurrency. I don't know if they're bitcoins or whatever they are, but we'll take them. Uh, a nice heart, and then something, something. Here, it's ghost bullets. Shoot through. Let's see what that is. Open this up, and you can also read about your guns if you want. Um, like it says here. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Grants all bullets piercing. Okay, so now our bullets go through. Alright, very nifty. So we defeat this guy. Um, I still have 237 shots in my snowballer, and we get to go down to the next floor. Alright. So that is one floor of Enter the Gungeon. 
it gets a lot more challenging from here. Um, getting down to the third, the fourth, the fifth, the enemy variety, the room layout, everything just gets a little bit trickier. And then eventually a lot trickier. This is chamber two. And away we go, getting some Mulam at 60, so we should be able to buy something good and go find the shop boy again. Ooh, there's also rooms like this, which are, um, not puzzle rooms, but plat more platforming rooms. That one is very simple, but they, at times they are difficult. Um, okay, so my shots have piercing. As you can see, they're going directly through the targets. Dang, he got me uh, on the rebound there. And he's bringing in some grenade bats and a shotgun boy. I also just love the art style. I think it's charming as all heck and so much fun. Uh, and to me, that adds... Oh, a sniper! To me, that adds a lot to the game. Uh, the fact that it's just... It's so darn charming. It's so cute. Like, fighting... Fighting bullets. Freaking great. Genius idea. There is an expansion um, for Into the Gungeon. Um, it's like a Dungeons & Dragons theme thing, which I think looks so cool. And initially, they were talking like it was going to hit Switch. Uh, it was going to launch on, you know, all platforms and launch with Switch. But that didn't happen, obviously. Um, so I'm guessing it comes early next year, and I think that'd be awesome. Hopefully, they bring it out as a free update for Switch. Because more Gungeon content and new Gungeon content to satiate my Gungeon fingers is exactly what we need. Alright, oh, not the Cubus. No, okay, there's definitely some... What the heck is going on? This See, like I told you, now that we're in Chamber 2, things are way crazier. And thank goodness for piercing, because I can just shoot through and occasionally get two guys for the price of one. Um, it's a little tricky, but we are going to try our best. Um, Cube Man has been decubified. I, it's an ammo box. Now, I can pick this up, and it'll completely refill everything. Now, if I was really crazy, I probably would have waited till the end of the... End of the this gungeon floor and then um, picked it up but what do we got here what is this glass guan stone ammo key ammo belt prime primer c4 and what does this guy say let's talk to him hey he smiles something for the collection i'll compensate you oh you drop guns down there and then he gives you goodies but i don't I don't know, I'm gonna kind of wait a little bit, um, just because I don't know, am I gonna need hearts, am I gonna need keys, am I gonna need ammo, do I want another gun? Oh man, holy cow, I forgot about this guy, sunshine in the night, kill the wizard, for that's what's right, as he shoots triangles at us, Kamek style. Alright, there we go, actually did pretty darn good there. Um, I think the teleport mechanic is one of the smartest things that this game does. The fact that they, oh that's a sniper tower, or sniper fortress, um, the fact that they, uh, the fact that they allow you to teleport and quickly, you know, get through this world, um, because it, oh wow, oh wow, it, this is a not good enemy, um, gosh, it, because it is about, you know, being able to move quickly, and I think that's something that people get frustrated with in these games, like, oh, I have to go back to this room, go back to that room, and, you know, a lot of you will notice and already have noticed and known the comparison to Binding of Isaac. And Binding of Isaac is also on Switch. Afterwood Plus is a great game. It's 40 bucks, which I think is pricey. Um, but for me personally, I prefer Gungeon over Isaac. I know that might be blasphemous given the pedigree that Isaac has and the amount of iterations it's had. But I prefer this game um, to Isaac. I think there's, I think it's a little bit more diverse. I think it's a little bit more uh, charming. Um, I, you know, I mean, there's definitely so much charm in Isaac as well, so don't get me wrong. Just for me personally... Um, this game is where it's at, so. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Shoot the wizard, that's always your first priority. Wizards. Magic dealers, come on. Alright, and then sunshines and bomb boys. Um, remember, I do have those blanks, so if things get crazy, I can uh, take everything off the screen for a split second, but I should be okay. I feel, I feel like I'm doing... I feel like I'm surviving. We're down to two hearts. Oh, oh wow, this is a big bad room. Um, there's also a saw... We're getting two guys at the price of one there with these piercing little dang it, I lost. I try to keep my vision like ahead of me, and sometimes that is is not the right move. Wow, okay. Just tight tight corridors here. I'm, and that guy is gonna be the shotgunners are gonna not be nice, but there, actually. Cleared that room quite quickly. Um so I might go back and buy hearts, we'll see. Um I have no keys for this. So let's let's do this. We'll go buy a key. Thank you. Um, um, I think this takes you from where it last was. Yeah, that's another cool mechanic. Even if there isn't a teleport in the room, you can re-teleport to where you last were. All right, witch pistol. The heck is a witch pistol? I do want to find out. All right. I'm going to use this witch pistol. It's got a small clip, but that most likely means a powerful shot. Sometimes the guns are insanely goofy. 
Um, oh wow, that's cool looking. There's just like a lot of also like really good visual effects in this game. Like the guns do cool stuff. That guy popped out a key, a grand key. What is that? Hey, can I have you? Cell key. Oh, I know what this does. Okay, so at some point there's gonna be cells, um, and we can unlock it now. Um, I've got an ammo box, but I'm gonna save that, and it will stay. As you can see, it lets you know that there's an ammo box there. We can pop these chickens. Um, let's look at our am ammonomicon, ammonomicon. I don't know. Um, chance to transmogrify. The witch pistol is a hex variant of a standard magnum, a fair to magic. Okay, so it might transmogrify. Oh, it chickenifies them. That's where those chickens were coming from. That's what that was. Okay. Oh, nice dodge roll there. Yep, and we turn him into a chicken. Pop goes the chicky chick. Boss room? Yes. Okay, um, anything unexplored? Yes, there is. The right side. So I have a cell key. We got 86 bullet coins, currencies. And away we go. I like this witch pistol a lot. So much, in fact. I'm going to keep using it. In these tight spaces, I feel like it's necessary. Oh, there, we transmogrified it. It's going to be great for the boss. I'm sure of it. A few more dollars. Um, let's go with the snowballer. Boop, boop, boop. Freeze those snipies. You can't snipe me when you're frozen. Anna and Elsa style. Let's go. There's a hole in the center of the room. Be careful. Beware of holes. Don't want to be Stanley Yelnats. All right. Great sound effects in this game, too. All right, cool. Another teleportation spot. Oh, dang. It's a big chest. What is this? Oh, it's the cell. <gasps> here we go, here we go, here we go. Open sesame. What's up, girl? Oh, finally. I knew it'd be a while but before someone came here, but seriously, it's been forever. Anyway, we should get back to this. Okay. Oh, these are the guys that you spend the, um... Thank you for rescuing Mr. Cadence in this one. Okay, so you... you sp That's where you spend that. Remember that, like, cryptocurrency I was showing you? That's where you spend it. Um, I don't know that I can buy another key. What is this? An altar? The altar is empty. I have nothing to do at your altar. Let's go back here and see... There... He only had one key, right? Dang it! I can't get the prime primer yet. Ammo belt. I'll take the half heart, though. Um, I don't know what this glass goo on stone is, but I will buy it. Oh, it, it fire. I think it fire. Yeah, it fires some, like, helpful hands against you. I hate that I don't have a key for this. Um, okay, where was that ammo box? Did it disappear? Or was it up here? Did it disappear? Maybe ammo boxes do disappear. I'm quite certain that they don't, but maybe it did. That was weird. Um, maybe it vanished. It's so weird. Hello? I can teleport right to the boss room. I just... Oh, what is this? What the heck? Thanks for the ammo, dork. Oh my god, the rumor rat stole it. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, okay. Let's get that witch pistol out. I'm ready for action. Can we beat boss two? Can we make it to the third level? This lady looks like she means a business. Okay. What is up? Dual wielding Gorgon. Alright. Medusa, Medusa, Medusa. Feel my guns. Okay, she's got poisonous swamp slime. Okay. I'm not really a fan of this small clip on this gun. Golly goodness, it becomes bullet hell a little bit at times, as you can see. Um, she... Okay, she turned me a stone. Nice. I can roll, I just can't fire. I don't know. Let's try this. Let's try the snowballer against her. See if maybe it will help a little more. I don't... Okay. I don't know what she's gonna do better. But I'm gonna rock with this for a little bit. We got her down about a third of the way. She is screeching and preaching her heavenly song that says, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. All right, halfway dead. Keep the pain and the pressure. Oh, God, I took damage. Did not mean to do that. All right. Oh, wow, okay. Holy crap, Arella. I, yeah. I do have my blanks if I need them. Dodge the stone effect there. No! Okay, I'm down to one heart. I gotta be really careful. I mean, we're dealing a significant... Oh, my. Holy crap. That was dangerous. No. 
She's so close. Okay. I need to do that. I'm just gonna play extra safe here. Come on! Come on, Gorgon! I'm gonna freaking kill you! I don't care if I blow all my blanks. She's so close. We're so close. We're so close. No! Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes, baby. Alright, we beat another boss. <sighs> we get some more currency, and we get a half heart. Not as much as I would like. Um, but yeah, and what is this trophy? A necklace? Copper amulet. Blanks ignite. Okay, blanks light the room on fire. Thanks for our currency. Um, let's see, since I got that... I got that key. Now we should be able to go open this. Gosh, that was a tough battle. I really wish I had that... Oh, it locked this out? Oh, okay. I was scared for a second. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Now you're gonna lock me out of the sacred chest. There we go. Alright, this one is... Chaos Amulet. So now I got two amulets. What do we got going on? Mmm, mmm, mmm. This one. Blanks have a chance to ignite. Blanks have a chance to poison, freeze, and ignite. Dang! Alright, so basically we are like... The Supreme Leader. Um, and as you can see, Blanks are very, very nice. All right, heading down to the next floor. What does this button do? Hey, you're looking pretty beat up. Want to take a break and come back later? Oh, you can save. That's cool. All right, I don't know how long we're gonna survive given the fact that we uh that we have um what do you call it? A little bit of a little bit of a little bit of life left. Just a little bit of life. Just a little bit of life, but we should, we'll do our best. This is the black powder mine. Things are getting serious down here. I got my witch pistol on and I'm breaking barrels. All right, okay, oh, wow, okay. The, I don't like these guys. Get out of here, get out of here. Nah, what's happening? My HD mic cord must be going because like there's times where it's like, hey, I'm gonna like shut off and I don't like that. I'm trying to play a game that requires knee jerk reactions and fast reflex time and Freaking turning people into chickens! Pop goes the chicken. Alright. Thank you. Snow and it, your ammo, by the way, refills for one gun, just so you know. That's why I switched to Snowballer. Um, because I, I do like the Snowballer, and it has helped me now defeat two bosses, so I will give it the props that it deserves. But we gotta be real defensive here. I have four blanks, which is awesome. Um, and especially since they ignite now, what is this? Okay, dynamite. Whoa! Okay, you saw that? All of a sudden, dynamite just came. This guy just popped out of nowhere. And I'm fighting like a coal monster? What is that guy? What is that thing? Alright, cool. Yes! I love it. I love these dynamite. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing these before. I played the game when it first came out, so I'm sure there's been like updates and things since then that I'm not aware of. I mean, that big update that I was telling you about that's like the... the Dungeons and Dragons with Gungeons and Dragons or whatever. Like, I haven't... Obviously, that's brand new. No one's played that, but... Um, I don't remember, like, Dynamite Rooms. That's cool. This is a really, like, cleverly or crazily laid out area. Push that table! I feel like Kratos doing that. Alright. Dang! What is this? Stinger Drone Warfare. Okay, we're gonna fire drones at people? Now we're talking. Now you're seeing how our arsenal of, uh... Assault weapons is pretty dang awesome. Alright. Rock and roll. Away we go. Mushroom, mushroom, and a totem of terror. A totem of terror. I'm gonna tear you apart. Lisa, you're tearing me apart. You guys seen that movie? Please do. It's pretty good. I mean, obviously see Star Wars. But also see the Disaster Artist. Okay, this guy does not want to die. What the heck? How many snowballs take to get to the center of you? Seriously, like, wow. So, okay, this is silly. Holy cow, what, is, this must be like a mini boss, I guess, wow. Cause that guy was intense, dude. All right, I'm sure you guys wanna see the stinger. So, next chance to use it, we will. Oh, this is a weird room. A little minecart action. Oh, wow, okay. Dang.
Well. Ah! Okay. Stop. Stop! It's time to stop. Can I jump into this? No, I can't. Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. Take me away, I don't want to hurt myself, I'm doing too good. And we gotta at least see the stinger once before we screw this up, right? Alright. Let's go to that pink question mark at the top left of our screen. You know what I mean? Screen supreme? Okay. Wow. This is a nasty gun. It is powerful, but it is really not what I want to be using right now. I need to snowball these guys and stay alive. I have a small amount of health, a very small amount, like one hit and I'm a done or So we gotta be extra careful. And these guys have obviously more health than they had previously. A little bit nerve wracking. I could use a shop. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be any. What is this? A shrine of a forgotten bull who laid down his arms. Will you offer a gun at the altar? Yes. Wait. Dang it, I gave him the I gave him my snowballer. No, I want to give him a stinger. Uh, it's just me and you, witch pistol. Whoa, Cthulhu Lord. What in the heck? Okay, there we go. Light him on fire, light him on fire, freeze him, light him on fire. And that's when you know that you got some good ambulance. And we have another one of these corny guys. I made a chicken out of you. I made a chicken out of you. Okay, is there a shop here? No, we found the boss room though. I did not mean to offer my snowballer. That could come back to haunt me. I hope it doesn't, but it could. What is this? Oh my golly! Holy cow, okay. What the heck? I don't like this. Whew! No, oh, really now? Yeah, light him on fire, take him all down, and give me some protection. Thank goodness. All right, so we did get a, we did pick up a heart. We're a little bit a little bit safer than we were five seconds ago. The stinger I'm gonna save for bo boss, I guess. Um, I'm gonna use this for the battles. Okay, no keys. No key? You guys like no key? I don't really like no key. It's gonna be a long video. I gotta I gotta show you my prowess. I don't want to just die for no reason. And now we're back to a couple hearts, so this is good. Okay, get rid of the baby bullets. Holy cow. Okay, I still have two blanks. Um, I do want to save some blanks, obviously, for the boss, because that's when blanks come in. It's hyper handy. Um, get him. Got him. Good. Okay, cool. We have 105 big ones. I need to find the shop. Is it here? Nope. Okay. Shoot the wizard with his adorable bullets. Gotcha. Round two is ghosts. Machine gun, Tommy gun wielding ghosts. You know, how, you know how it goes. All right. Can we get a shop? Who? Yeah. No, we cannot. All right. Cool. No shops for me. Ah. Whoa. Rick, you see those bolts bouncing off his helmet? That guy's a gooby. Where is the shop? This floor is huge. Can you tell? There are so many more rooms. At least it feels like it. So many chickens. I wish that I like got something cool for turning them into chickens. Okay. Um, one of these has to be a shop, right? I think there has to be a shop on every floor, I think. But it's not here. Ah! I'm empty. I'm out. My witch pistol is out. And remember, I lost... All I have is the stinger because I lost my um, snowballer, unfortunately, in making an offering to that guy. Okay, beautiful. Oh, yes. And I found the shop, too. What adorable timing. Okay. Um, glass guan stone. Brick of cash? Ring of fire resistance? What is a brick of cash? Watch out for all the bolts. Thanks. I don't know what a brick of cash is. Um, ring of... I don't know what it is, but I wanted to buy it. Let's see. Hopefully it's cool. Reveals secret doors. Huh. Ah. Ah. Did you find any secret doors for me? 
I never like mark them on the map or what? All right, well, um, I hope that that is helpful in some way, shape, or form. I don't know that it is at all, but I don't know. Brick of cash sounded alluring, right? Reveals secret doors. We don't know where they are. Is this a secret door? Okay. Let's go fight that boss. Now uh, this is gonna be tricky. We got two hearts. I'm gonna start with the stinger. And we're gonna face off against, I don't know, the evil smoke. Okay. Majora's mask coming in. It's the cannon balrog, aka the moon. That was a great shot. Holy crabarella. I lit it on fire with my blank. I don't know how much this is. This deals solid damage. And it being on fire also helps. This is a good gun. Yeah, it's a real good gun. He's already halfway dead. This is the perfect boss battle gun. And oh, it's firing like bees at him? You see that? Oh yeah, because the stinger. They're taking him down over time. Right. Oh wow! Okay, sorry, that was loud. I didn't mean to. What the heck? Holy cow. I don't like these super bouncy ball times. I was doing so good at hitting him every shot and now I'm kind of missing, so I want to get back on track. Oh, he's almost dead. Good. My bees. Yeah, and we only use 24 bullets or less. 22. A lot of currency. Hazmat suit unlocked. My bees say hello. Oh, baby. I got a banana. And master round. I am souped up to supreme lord status. Look at this. This exceptional artifact indicates mastery of the third chamber. Cool. And then my banana clip. Nice. It's a snack. I don't know. I have full life. Okay. This is so cool. And there's two there's two rooms that open. Oh, that one and then this one. Duh. Alright, hello bees. Thank you, bees. You guys did well. You did awesome. And I think I'm actually going to save this here, because that's a long video. That's 30 minutes. End of the Gungeon is awesome. 15 bucks now on Switch. You gotta get it. Uh, I'll probably continue this, actually. Mm, yeah, I'll put, a, I'll put a link to it. A secret, a secret link. If you want to see when it's up, I'll put a secret link where you can watch the continuation of this. And uh, if you do, if you do go watch continuation, make sure to comment banana. All right, on the on the next video if you can find it. Until that time, everybody, thanks so much for watching Fantastic Day. Make sure to subscribe to stay to date on the latest and greatest from the Switch and its game library. And until next time, we will see you, Switch Force.